The Church of the Jesu in Rome receives hundreds of tourists every day that come to see the tomb of St. Ignatius of Loyola. But few actually know that directly next to the church is the house where the founder of the Jesuits used to live. It was the first house of the Society of Jesus, located near the old Venetian palace, which used to be the home of the Pope at that time. When the Tiber River in Rome flooded in 1598, only four rooms in the house were not ruined. Today its hallways are home to the artwork of the painter Andrea Pozzo, scenes depict some of the miracles attributed to St. Ignatius. The four original rooms are conserved where St. Ignatius lived the last 17 years of his life and where he died. There also lived the four successor generals of the order. At that time there was a development of the foundation for the Society of Jesus. In these simple rooms is where St. Ignatius wrote the constitutions of the Society of Jesus as well as more than 7,000 letters with his signature and the seal of the Superior General. They also have some of the original furniture and a copy of Our Lady of Writing located on the desk. Visitors can see how they would have measured up next to the saint by standing next to a life-size statue of him. The house also has some of his more personal effects, such as clothing, shoes, and the rules of the order he composed in 1549. This small chapel is still in use, it boasts original flooring and a table some 500 years old that also belonged to St. Ignatius. In the room which wasn't his but where St. Ignatius died is used as a chapel today. We have a picture of the Holy Family from the time of St. Ignatius in front of where he would celebrate the Eucharist every day. This is the room where the founder of the Jesuits was taken care of until his death on July 31, 1556. Despite the years, the home continues to bring surprises. In 1991, on the 500th anniversary of his birth, during a restoration, a fresco was uncovered with the initials IHS, the Greek abbreviation for Jesus, which is one of the hallmarks of the Society of Jesus.